Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hi. Good evening, teacher. How was your weekend? Fine, teacher. And you? Me tienen trabajando ustedes. <risa> están bonitas las... las historias sí, están bonitas congratulations Ahí estoy pensando ¿qué le voy a escribir? ah bueno, pero como lo, lo bueno es que están mandando los compañeros ahí los que ya han hecho entonces ya sabe cuál no va a ser sí <risa> sí, cabal ajá Y puede ser, teacher, como este algo que a uno le pasó. Sí. Ah, ok. I have my stories too. The mail. <laughs> Hay una la que más me impactó sí. que no es de tanto miedo. No me dio miedo. Pero sí me sentí rara. Cuando, cuando mi papá murió, se despidió de mí. Ah, y sí, a mí también me ha pasado con varias familias, varios familiares. Sí. Pero, es que mi papá era bien peculiar. Él, él tenía una su respiración así como cansada. Porque... Eh, padecía así como de los bronquios. Ajá. Y entonces, y justo el, el día que murió, a la hora que más o menos murió, llegó a mi, a mi, o sea, vivíamos en diferentes casas. Ajá. Y, y llegó a mi casa. Llegó a mi casa. Entonces, este, o sea, llegó a mi cuarto, se sentó en mi cama, Y porque cabal sentí yo así como cuando se sientan a la par de ajá, él, que sea, y, ajá, y le ponen la mano hacia el, al otro lado y se, sentí ajá. la presión en la, en la cama y la presión en la, en, en, en la almohada así como que se había acercado a, a darme un beso ajá y entonces yo estaba entre dormida y despierta y, y dije yo ¿y qué anda haciendo mi papá por aquí? y abrí los ojos y no vi nada. Ajá. Y las presiones ahí estaban todavía. Y, pero no Ajá. me dio miedo. O sea, sentí raro, pero no me dio miedo. Ajá. Sí, pero, ajá, es que no le... Pero si me levanté de ahí, me fui. <ríe> no me parece. Y le conté a mi mamá. Y le dije, mamá, fíjate que ya estoy, esto me pasó. Y mamá, ah, estaba soñando. Y bien me acuerdo, porque Cabal fue... El día que, 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 que se descubrió todo lo de, lo de ¿cómo que se llama este señor? De Jimmy Sogas. Ah, ya. Yeah. Ah. Justo ese día fue, el día que, que, que explotó todo allá en Estados Unidos. Y mi Ajá. familia estaba como, nosotros teníamos un televisor que, que era así como de dial. No era de cambiar. Ah, ya, ya, ajá. ajá que debía el, el, el UH y entonces estaba eh, dejándolo entre medio de, de los canales se miraba perfecto la señal ah, pues eso estaban haciendo con mi hermano viendo, viendo eso de Jimmy Swagger y entonces este, yo estaba dormida y, 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 y me pasó eso y entonces este, al siguiente día cuando me desperté no había nadie en la casa y dije yo, wow, fue el, como, yo, yo, yo me había enterado del problema con Jimmy Swagger, ¿verdad? Ajá, dije, ajá. Wow, fue el arrebatamiento y me quedé. Dije. <risa> <risa> Pero salí a ver, salí a ver, este, afuera, ¿verdad? Y ahí estaba el carro. Ah, pues no, salieron, dije yo, sí. ¿verdad? Ajá. Entonces, este, pero, eh, 
al ratito me hablaron. Y me dice, y mamá, hija. Y yo, con solo la vocecita que leí, mi papá Ajá. le dice. Y se dice a llorar la señora. Entonces, yo, yo no, yo tranquila, porque yo ya sabía. Ajá. Entonces, este, pero babosos, porque me dejaron ahí sola en la casa. Me sí, llevado, se fueron todos. Me hubieran llevado con ellos me hubieran, para poder ver a mi papá. Sí. Bueno, pero en parte mejor que no me hayan llevado, porque, ay, tal vez yo mato a alguien más ahí. Va a creer que ni se había terminado de, 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 de enfriar el cuerpo y le estaban quitando que el anillo, que el, que, que el reloj, que no sé. Dios qué. santo. Si es que como que eran sopilotes de Ocuado. Sí. La familia, los familiares de él, los hermanos. Ajá, ajá. Dios Ay, Ocuado. no, qué barbaridad. Ay, no, yo, 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 yo los hubiera matado. Lo, de lo ver hubiera eso, pensado. ajá. Es que sí, o sea, locura. ¿Cómo se notaba que solo para eso lo querían? Yo cuál. Sí, ay, no. Qué terrible. Sí. Terrible que, que así sea la, la gente, ¿verdad? Materialista. Sí, bueno, que no lo puse. En yo lo puse en su sitio de vez en cuando, cuando yo llegaba ahí donde mi papá. Unos, unos, cuantos, unos cuantos días antes les había dicho de todo. Porque, o sea, me pudo, ya de que. Él era el dueño de la casa, era el que daba todo. Y a él lo tenían como que él era el arrimado, que nadie le hacía nada en su cuarto. Y nada. Tenía que llegar yo a estarle limpiando y todo, porque nadie le limpiaba nada ahí. Yo, ¿cuál? Ay, no, sí, aprovechándose de él. Estaba solo sacando. Bueno, what a story. What a story. All of science is nothing. More than the refinement of everyday thinking. Albert Einstein. O sea que la ciencia no es nada más que el refinamiento del de el diario pensamiento, o sea, lo que pensamos a diario. Nice. O sea, el refinamiento de lo que pensamos a diario. Ok. The lesson objective. In this class, you will learn how to tell stories. Bye. Se dan cuenta. No es que yo quiera celebrar Halloween. Es que tenemos que contar historias. Okay. And this is what you have in your platform. Okay. Watch the video and write a summary of the story on the discussion forum. Then tell a spooky story you may know of. Spooky is a sea tenebrosa. Spooky is a Hey guys, you're not going to believe this. I just heard a story about this campground. Permitan. Disculpe. What do you mean? What about it? I was just at the bathhouse. I had taken a shower and was brushing my teeth when this woman came in with her daughter. She, she was telling her the story, so I listened in. What's so interesting about this old campground? It isn't scary, is it? Because scary stories freak me out. Oh, don't be such a chicken, Molly. Come on, Ellen, tell us the story. Well, this all took place many years ago. Before it was turned into a campground, this land had been a farm. It was owned by a young couple named Theodore and Dolly McShane. Mr. McShane had inherited the land from a relative. So, what's so scary about that? I thought this was supposed to be a spooky story. I'm getting to that, just wait. The McShanes were wonderful people. Friendly, sociable, everybody loved them. And they really, really loved each other. Everybody could see it. 
When they were walking down the street together, they always held hands. When he was working in the fields, he always picked her wild flowers and brought them home to her in the evening. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Oh no, then something bad happened, right? Yes. One day, as Theodore was coming home from town, he saw smoke in the distance. It had been a very hot, dry summer, so fires were a real danger. And was there a fire at the farm? Yes. And as he was hurrying down the road, the smoke was getting thicker and thicker, blacker and blacker. All he could think about was his wife. But by the time he got home, the house was completely in flames. He screamed Dolly's name over and over, but she didn't answer. She was in the house? She died in the fire? Yes. It was a terrible tragedy. What happened then? Well, the poor man went crazy. He refused to believe that Dolly had died. For months, he searched for her. He walked all day and night through the countryside and through the town, searching, searching, and in his hands, he always carried a bouquet of wild flowers for his poor, dead bride. So, how did it turn out? What finally happened to him? That's the spooky part. It's a mystery. People saw him less and less. And then, Theodore McShane just disappeared. No one ever saw him again. But the people who live here say he still walks the forest at night looking for his lost bride. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you ladies. I was making my rounds and wanted to see if everything is all right. Yes, a park ranger, of course. Yes, everything's fine. Ellen was telling us a spooky story when you came by. Campfire stories, huh? That's always fun. Well, okay then, I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for checking on us, and sorry about the screams. Oh, that's okay. I'm used to it. Hey, in the morning, you ladies should take a look down that path. There's a field full of wildflowers in there in bloom right now. Very pretty. Oh, that's good to know. We'll do that, thanks. Here's some for you to enjoy. In case you need anything, I'll be at the ranger station. Thanks again. Oh, what's your name? I'm Ted. Theodore, really. But my friends call me Ted. Ted McShane. You have a good night. Do you understand why they were scary at the end? Hello? The name of the man that they talked to was the same than the protagonist in the in scary the story. story. <laughs> yes. And gave, gave them a bouquet of flowers, of wild flowers. Yeah, just like the story. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, the part that they said that you will tell your book story is the one that I left for first day, okay? Then um, we will see, uh, in this class, you will practice the past continuous versus the simple past, okay? And here I found a timeline that express what is this uh, about. If you notice here, we were waiting, that is past continuous or past progressive. It's the same, past continuous or past progressive. Something started and has a period of time, okay? But, then it says, uh, we were waiting for the bus. It's a lot of time. Then when we saw 
a car accident. They saw a car accident. Then uh, the waiting thing was interrupted by the car accident. Okay. And then it continues. Past continuous, we're waiting. Simple past, so. Okay. And we have now, and then we have the future. Now is the present time. Okay. When we use past continuous, we use it with the verb to be in past tense was or were. We use was with I, he, she, and it, and were with the others, with you, we, you, and they. And well, the simple past, I guess that you already know the simple past tense is when you put the verb in simple past. And it is an event that already happened in the past. And I will share with you a, a list of irregular and regular verbs. I will send them to you right now. To the WhatsApp group. Se me olvidó haberse los enviado más temprano. Pero nunca es tarde. Es para que todos tengamos los mismos verbos. Se los mando en Word o en PDF. ¿Lo prefieren en Word o en PDF? En Word, teacher. En Word, teacher, por favor. Lo único que si se los mando en Word, este, tengan cuidado, no lo vayan a arruinar. Porque la ventaja del PDF es que no se pueden cambiar. Ok, ahí va. Por cualquier cosa se lo voy a mandar en PDF. Pero que sea, que se pueda copiar y pegar. Yo siento que este se puede. Sí. O sea, es que no es foto, sino que es PDF. Ahí está. Ok. Se los mandé en Word y se los mandé en PDF. Okay. Para que todos tengamos las mismas listas de verbos. Ok. Okay, then. Do you understand what this uh, well, I guess that you already know both of these uh, tenses, the past continuous and the simple past. You already have seen it. And, but here they are mixing both. So we were waiting for the bus when we saw a car accident. They are mixing. So están haciendo una, esto se llama compound or complex sentence. Okay, que tiene la unión de dos oraciones. Y en este caso son 
de diferentes tens. Por eso es compound complex. Now, use past progressive or continuous with simple past to describe an action that is in progress and suddenly interrupted by another action. You may use both tenses in order to express complex sentences. For example, if you want to express that you were doing, ahí me faltó una I, an activity and then you were interrupted. For example, I was eating dinner last night when my girlfriend called me. Okay. El clásico también, ¿verdad? I was taking a shower when the telephone rang. Puede estar usted todo el día esperando que le llamen y nadie le llama. Pero tan pronto usted entra a la ducha, ¡pum! Se cae la llamada. <laughs> Have you noticed that? <laughs> ¿O nunca les ha pasado? <laughs> a mí me ha pasado seguidísimo. Estoy esperando y esperando y esperando una llamada y nada. Me voy a bañar y pum, me cae la llamada. Dio cual. Now, please, someone of you to read the first pair of sentences. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Uh, they were enjoying uh, the morning when the thief stole the briefcase. Okay, thank you. Which one is the past continuous? They were enjoying. Okay. And which one is the simple past? The thief stole the briefcase. Excellent. Now, um, someone else, please. The second one. Me. Okay, go ahead. While he was escaping from the bank, the robber got caught in the revolving door. Okay. Do you know what is the revolving door? No. ¿Se han fijado aquellas, aquellas puertas así giratorias? Ah, giratorias. Ajá, uh -huh. como en los hoteles. Películas. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, which one is the past progressive or continue? While he was escaping. Was escaping. Excellent. And the simple past. Uh, the rover. The rover got. Oh, uh -huh. got caught. Robert got caught. Okay. Thank you. Now, um, someone else to read this one, please. As Jake was running toward the ball, he tripped and kicked it into the wrong goal. Okay. Uh, which is the simple past? Los de verde tripped, kicked. Kicked, okay. And the past continues? Kicked. R was running. Was running, okay. Thank you very much. Now, next one. Someone to read the next one? Me teacher. Okay, go ahead. The secretary was making a speech when a protester threw threw an ad at her. Through. 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 Espero que por lo menos haya estado cocido, porque si se lo tiró crudo, full girl. Okay. Now. Past continuous versus simple past. Mm. 
drivers, no, divers. Divers. Do you know what is a diver? The one who drives, un conductor. No, di diver. Buceadores. Oh. Mm. Sí, excelente. Los que bucean. Diver. You go diving. Okay. Now, eh, ustedes van a decidir si es pasado simple o es pasado continuo. El verbo que está entre paréntesis. Ok. While divers. We're working. We're working. We're working off the coast of Florida. They. Discovered. Discovered a chip weight. Containing gold worth. Two million dollars. The divers were filming. Were filming a show about the coral reef. Permit. Estaba bola yo anoche. Bueno, es que no he dormido casi todo el fin de semana. Ese trabajo me está matando. <laughs> Okay. The coral reef. When they when they iría en pasado o en pasado continuo. Simple fast. Simple fast. ¿Cuál es el pasado de find? Found. No. Found. Found. Okay. F O U N D. Found. Okay. Yo creo que ahí lo tienen en sus, en los irregulares. Busquen. Find. Found. Found. Okay. Do you remember? Uh, what's the difference between irregular verbs and regular verbs? In irregular verb, change and the old verb. Oh. But in regular verb, uh, only add at the end two letters or one letter. ED. ED. Yeah, ED. Okay. But if you notice, eh, ya, ya bajaron las, las listas que les mandé. No. No te preocupes, se lo voy a poner aquí ahorita. Yes, I, I have it. It's fine. Ya, ya las tienen. Yes. Ahí, ahí está una y ahí está la otra. Ok. Se la voy a enseñar. Ok. There you are. Voy a poner más. Oops. Ah. No deberían de poner esos controles tan cerquita. Ok. Estos son los irregulares. Los irregulares eh, tienden a cambiar eh, todo. O si no, se mantienen iguales. En el caso de, por ejemplo, could. Could, could, could. Y put también. Put, put, put. Eh, let, 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 let. En el caso de read. Este, se escribe igual, pero se pronuncia diferente el pasado y el pasado participio. Por ejemplo, es read, read, read. ¿Verdad? Y en el caso de los regulares, si se fijan como tanto el pasado como el pasado participio es lo mismo, 
Entonces yo lo que hice fue ponerles solamente, ¿cómo se llama? Ponerle solamente una que es tanto pasado como pasado participio. Y en vez de poner repetido aquí, lo que hice fue ponerles el sonido. ¿Verdad? Lo que diferencia en los verbos regulares es que se pronuncian diferente. Entonces, por ejemplo, tenemos avoid, avoided y de. Arrived, arrived. Solo te. Y en el caso de check, checked. Checked. Por T. Entonces ahí les puse el sonido. ¿Verdad? En el, como lo tienen que, que leer. Cuando sea pasado o pasado participio. Avoid, avoided. Repeat. Avoid, avoided. Avoid, avoid. Arrived. 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 Answer, answer. Answer, answer. Advice, advice. Advice, advice. Accept, accepted. Accepted. Casi la mayoría solo se pronuncia con D. Pero hay unos, unos pocos que se pronuncian con ed, o sea, iri, y eh, menos que se pronuncian con t. Por ejemplo, check, check. Check, check. check. Drop, drop. Check, check. Drop, drop, drop. drop, drop. <risa> damage, damage. Damage, damage. Kiss, kiss. Kiss. Yes. Yes. Like, light. Light, light, light. Lounge, lounge. Lounge, lounge. Lock, locked. Lock, lock. Look, looked. Look, look, look. Miss, missed. Miss, miss, miss. Okay. Con estos verbos vamos a estar trabajando, así que si los pueden imprimir, mucho que mejor. ¿Vale? Para que los tengan a mano. Vamos a ver. Dijo un ciego que manejaba. Se me olvidó hacer algo. Disculpen. A ver. Y como me puse a revisar las, las últimas que me llegaron. Este, cuando me manden eh, lo de las leyendas, que sea PPT mejor, corazones. Porque así lo puedo corregir de un solo. Cuando me mandan PDF, no lo puedo corregir. Bien. Complete the news story using the past continuous and the simple past. Use the verbs given. Divers hit the jackpot. While divers were working off the coast of Florida, They discovered a shipwreck containing gold worth two million dollars. Okay. Teacher. Teacher. Uh -huh. No se los estoy enseñando. No, no. Uh -huh. Gracias. Yeah. Gracias. Gracias. ¿Y ahora? Ahora yeah. sí. No, yeah. Hoy sí. Thank you very much. While divers were working off the coast of Florida. They discover a shipwreck containing gold worth two million dollars. They mm. 
discovered. Discovered the shipwreck containing gold worth two million. The divers. We're filming. I show about the coral reef when they found the gold. Yes. Now, four legged customers. As a woman. Mm. Was walking. Was walking. 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 With her pet puddle down the street, a hair stylist. Notice. Notice said. Notice said then. Through the, the window. through the window and suddenly had a great idea. Later, while he was creating, was creating a new line of hair care products for dogs and cats, he Came up, came up, came up, up. Mm -hmm. with a new slogan. Even animals have bad hair days. Even animals have ha bad hair days. Okay. <laughs> Yo me he fijado que algunos. Algunas personas que se preocupan más por los perritos que por los misma gente. Ok. Falta aquí algo está malo. Ah, no le di espacio. Was created. Sí se lo di, pero no lo agarré. Ok. Ok. All of you. Now, uh, someone to read number one, please, with the with the answer. Okay. While divers worth two million of the coast of Florida, they discovered a shipwreck. How do you pronounce shipwreck? Shipwreck. Shipwreck. On, um, ah, uh, sorry. While while they were, were working off the coast of Florida, they discovered a shipwreck. Sí, la pantalla lo cubre la, lo que dice ahí. De verdad. Mm -hmm. no. La voy a hacer ¿Cuál? pequeña. Si no tengo containing nada gold. No, no, yo la tengo... comía. Ah. La... Containing gold worth to million dollars. million dollars. Excellent. Now, someone to read the second one? Me? Okay. They discovered a shipwreck contained gold worth two million. Okay. Two million dollars. Two million dollars. Two million dollars. Okay. Now, uh, the last one. Me, teacher. Okay. The divers were filming a show about the coral reef when they found the gold. Excellent. Now, um, someone else, please. Me teacher. Okay. As a woman was walking with her pet pulled up down the street. Okay. Another one. 
me, teacher. Okay. A uh, hair stylist noticed them through the window and suddenly had a great idea. Okay. Another one? Me, teacher. Okay. He came up with a new slogan. No, even animals. Later, later while he. Okay. He came up with a new slogan. No. Yeah, la que está arriba. La arriba. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Later, with he was reading uh, a new line of hair care products for dogs and cats. Okay. ¿Y ustedes bañarían un gato? No, porque... No. Bañar, ¿Bañarlo? Sí. De lejos, con una manguera. <risa> no, yo nunca bañé gatos. Es que los gatos no se bañan. Lo arruinan. Tienen... No Pero lo bañan. No. Ellos solitos se limpian. Que lo bañan. Lo bañan. Ellos solitos se limpian. Sí. Ah, pues yo tengo amistades que lo bañan. Dios guarde. No, <risa> es, es malo. Le, les dañan. O sea, los que sí se pueden bañar son los, los perros y hay que tener un gran cuidado con la cabeza. Pero los gatos no se van. O sea, hasta donde yo sabía, no se van. Siguen sí, vivos. Para, para, <risa> no, empezar, no, 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 para empezar, ¿cómo termina uno después de querer bañar a un perro? Que son más tranquilos que los gatos. Imagínense un gato. Termina uno todo. Mm. Eso sí, no sé, no he visto cómo les ha ido. No, the, the last one. He. ¿Quién va a leer el último? Me. He came up with a new slogan. Even animals have bad hair days. Excellent. Thank you. Entonces ahora. Este, ¿Quieren hacer sus propias oraciones con pasado y pasado continuo? ¿O quieren leer, este, quieren leer, ¿cómo se llama? O sea, quieren hacer lo del reading, aquella reading technique que estábamos pendientes. Reading. Yeah, reading. 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 Mm -hmm. reading. Ok. Bien, voy a explicar. Este, esta ya la leímos más o menos. Bien. Este, primero se lo voy a leer todo. Vayan siguiendo la lectura. Y después, este, vamos a hacer lectura guiada. O sea, yo leo y usted repite. Y después, por último, cada quien va a leer, pero solo hasta el primer punto. Y después menciona a alguien más de sus compañeros para continuar leyendo. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos Aquí bien? en el chat, Rafael Morales está reportando que no tiene electricidad en la casa. Teacher. Ok. Eh... Teacher, una consulta. Dígame. Eh, a la hora del reading, ¿por qué no mejor usted eh, va diciendo a quién le toca en orden? Porque a veces uno se confunde eh, eh, con base a, la, a lo que aparece en las pantallas de los nombres de los compañeros. Y así lo, que pasa es que, lo que pasa es que tan está usted como estoy yo, o sea, 
si ellos no han puesto su nombre como debe de ser, porque hay unos que me aparecen que tablet no sé qué. <ríe> no, pero yo creo que hoy no ha venido tablet. <ríe> hoy sí están todos los nombres. Lo que pasa es que a mí me gusta que ustedes escojan su víctima. Porque solo yo, yo soy la que quedó de mala. Entonces así dividimos la culpa. <ríe> okay. <ríe> me entiende. <ríe> Así solo va de uno a uno y si no son veintitantos contra mí. <ríe> bueno, a ver, con todos los demás están eh, de acuerdo con lo que dice el compañero, que yo los vaya mencionando, que va a seguir leyendo. Sí, yo creo si que sea... sí. Sí, prefieren que sea yo quien diga quién sigue. Ok, sí. pero van a ir en desorden. Así que si, si menciona uno más de dos veces, me dicen, ya estuve. ¿Ok? Bien. Entonces, primero, eh, sí. vayan siguiendo la lectura. The treat to Kiribati. Look at the picture. What do you think the treat to Kiribati might be? Kiribati. ¿Ok? And this is South Pacific Ocean in the Western Samoa, the Salomon Islands, okay? In the states of Indonesia, okay? The French Polynesia. Okay. Kiribati. Eh, aquí, por cierto, esta es, esta se conoce como la línea de la fecha. Y justo aquí es donde más se, se distorsiona. Porque este, no quisieron que esa serie de islas estuvieran unas en un día y las otras en otro día. Entonces, por eso se distorsiona todo aquí la línea de la fecha. O sea, no va así justo, recto, ¿verdad? Porque no querían que las islas de un lado tuvieran un día y del otro lado el otro día. Eso sucede eh, seguido. Por ejemplo, eh, hubo alguien que se perdió su cumpleaños porque iba, iba a la inversa, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, cuando iba a celebrar su cumpleaños, se saltaron la línea de la fecha y entonces llegaron al siguiente día. Entonces ya no celebró su cumpleaños hasta el siguiente año. <risa> Bien, son datos curiosos. Ok, mm. now. The people of Kiribati pronounce Kiuba are afraid that one day in the near future, the country will disappear, literally. Several times in the past few years, the Pacific Islands nation has been flooded by sudden high tides. These tides which swept across the islands and destroyed houses came when there was neither wind nor rain. The older citizens in Kiribati of Kiribati say this has never happened before. Kiribati consists of 30, 30, uh, 33 islands scattered across 3,860 3, kilometers to 1,400 miles of the Pacific Ocean near the equator. They are particularly threatened by high tides because none of the islands in Kiribati rises more than two meters, 6.5 feet above sea level. What is causing 
these mysterious ties? The answer may be global warming. When fuels like oil and coal are burned, they release pollutants that trap heat in the Earth's atmosphere. Rising temperatures create more water by melting glaciers and polar ice caps. Scientists say that if the trend continues, many countries will suffer. Bangladesh, for example, might lose one fifth of its land. However, the coral island nations of the Pacific, like Kiribati and the Marshall Islands, could face an even worse fate. They could be swallowed by the sea. This could be everyone's loss. Coral formations and homes to more species than any other place on earth. The people of these nations feel frustrated. The ocean on which their economies have always been based is suddenly threatening their existence. They are no, there are no easy answers. These nations don't have a lot of money, so they can't afford expensive solutions like sea walls, and they have no control over pollutants, which are being released mainly by large industrialized countries. All they can do is to hope that these countries will take steps to reduce pollution and therefore global warming. Okay. ¿Les gustó la lectura? ¿Entendieron sí, todo o hay, hay preguntas sobre vocabulario? Uh, Tide de marea, ¿verdad? ¿Perdón? Tide de marea. Sí. That's good. Cool. ¿Qué más? Solo eso. Uh -huh. Vaya, imagínense. Solo una, una cosita no sabía y era algo que de todos modos lo intuyó. Ok. Now, eh, please listen and repeat. The threat to Kiribati. The threat to Kiribati. Look at the picture. Look at, look, at the the picture. Picture. look at the picture. What do you think the threat to Kiribati might be? Uh, what do you, do you think, think the threat to Kiribati might be? Kiribati Kiribati might be. The people of Kiribati pronounce the Kiruba. The people of Kiribati pronounce Kiruba. Are afraid that one day in the near future, their country will disappear, literally. Several times in the past few years, several times the Pacific Islands nation. The Pacific, the Pacific Island, 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 Island has been flooded by sudden high tides. Has been flooded by sudden high tides. Which swept across the island. Which swept across the island. And destroyed houses. And destroyed houses. When there was neither wind nor rain. When there was neither wind nor rain. The older citizens 
The order order citizen. Of Kiribati. Of Kiribati. Of Kiribati. Say this has never happened before. Say this has never happened before. Kiribati consists. Kiribati consists of thirty three islands. Of thirty-three islands lying scattered across, scattered across three thousand eight hundred sixty kilometers. Fifteen kilometers. Two thousand four hundred miles. 2,400 miles. miles of the Pacific Ocean, of the Pacific, Pacific, Pacific Ocean. 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 Ocean, near the equator, near, near the equator, near, near the equator, near, near the, the equator. equator. There are particularly threatened they are by high tides because none of the island because, because none, none of the island of, the island of Kiribati of Kiribati rises more than rises more than two meters Two meters. Six point five feet. Six point five feet. Above sea level. Above sea level. What is causing these mysterious tides? What is causing these mysterious tides? The answer may be global warming. The answer may be global When fuels like oil, when fuels like oil, oil and coal, and coal, and coal, and coal are burned, are are burned. Burn. they release pollutants. They, they release pollutants that trap heat in the earth atmosphere rising temperatures rising temperatures create more water by melting glaciers and polar ice caps. And polar ice caps. Scientists, scientists say that they say that, they that, they that, that if the trend continues, if the trend continues, continues, many countries will suffer. Many many countries countries Bangladesh, for example, Bangladesh, Bangladesh for example, might lose one fifth of its land. My However, the coral island nation. However, of the Pacific, of, of the Pacific, Pacific, like Kiribati, like Kiribati, 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 and the Marshall Islands, the Marshall Islands, would face an even worse fate. Would face even worse fate. They could be swallowed. They, they could, could be swallowed, be swallowed by the sea. By, by the sea. sea. This would be everyone's loss. This, this would be, be everyone's loss. loss. Everyone. 
Coral formations are home. Coral formations are home to more to more species. More more species. species. To more species than any other place on earth. Than any other place. The people of these nations. The people, the people of, of these, these nations, nations feel frustrated. Feel frustrated. The ocean. The, the ocean. ocean. Oh, sorry. On which their economies have always been based. Is suddenly, is suddenly, suddenly, threatening their existence, threatening their existence. There are no easy answers. They are no easy answers. These nations don't have a lot of money. This, this nation, nation don't have a lot of money. Lot of money. Lot of money. So, money. so they can't afford expensive solutions. So they, they can't, they can't afford expensive, they can't solutions. Afford expensive solutions. 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 Like sea walls. Like, like sea walls. walls. Sea walls. And they have no control. And, and they, they have, no, they have no control over pollutants, over over pollutants. pollutants. which are being released which are, which are being, are being released. released by large industrialized countries by large, by large, large industrialized, industrialized countries. countries all they can do all they can, they they can do, do is to hope is to hope, to hope that these countries that these countries, 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 countries will take steps will take will steps, take take steps, steps to, to, reduce to reduce pollution to reduce pollution pollution and therefore and therefore and therefore, and therefore, and therefore global warming global, global warming, global warming. Okay, excellent. ¿Qué hora es? What time is it? Hillary Teal. 8.59. Ah, ya Night. Bueno, pero ya la leímos. Este, se lo voy a mandar al, al, al WhatsApp para que okay. lo repasen por su cuenta. Y lo, o, eh, lo retomamos en la próxima clase. O sea, Perfect. la próxima clase que tengamos chance. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Ok. Yes. okay practican, practican ustedes lectura. Eh, porque entre más se practica, más, más fácil se les va a dar hablarlo. ¿Verdad? Okay. See you tomorrow. Y síganme you tomorrow. poniendo trabajo. Están bonitas las, las historias que están mandando. Gracias. Gracias. Okay. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.